Thanks for joining this how-to screencast, brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, you'll learn how to create a custom report for Salesforce order management. In this video, we'll walk through how to create a custom report. It's great to have the flexibility for custom reports, but first you'll need to do some learning about the order management, standard and custom objects, field information, and how the various objects are related. Also, you'll need to understand the business need and take into account any data customizations and system integrations specific to your implementation. This knowledge will help you determine if order management is the best system to generate the report or if another system would be a better fit. First things first, let's understand the Salesforce order management data model. It all starts with order summary. This object consolidates all order information from order capture through fulfillment, payment, delivery, and post-order servicing actions. Summary objects are unique to order management. They are populated with data from underlying data objects and offer a dynamic view of current order-related data. Two additional object types to be familiar with are change orders and order adjustments. Change orders are created as the result of a return or cancellation, and order adjustments are created as the result of a discount applied to an order. If the order summary object doesn't contain the fields or information you're looking for, you can try finding the information using these additional summary objects. Now that we've reviewed the order management data model, let's take a look at the steps to create a custom report type, which is the first step to create a custom report if the report type you're wanting to make doesn't already exist. There are three steps to creating a custom report type. Define a new custom report type. Relate additional objects. Edit fields available if needed. After these steps are completed, you can move on to creating a custom report. Now, let's take a look at how you would do this in Salesforce order management. In our example, we'll be creating a custom report type and report that shows product returns by reason code broken down by sales channel total quantities returned, and total dollar amount of the returns. Order level information, including summary information, and the ability to drill down into individual orders. Let's walk through the process of creating a custom report type. Let's say we want to see a report that will show product returns by reason and also grouped by sales channel. In the order management console, we'll go to gear icon and then select setup, which will open in a new tab. In the Quick Find box, we'll search for Report Types and then select Report Types. Now we can see all the custom report types that have been created in this org. Before building your own report type, you should always start by checking to see if it already exists. No need to duplicate work. In this example, the report type that we need has not been created, so we'll select New Custom Report Type. For the primary object, we'll want to select the Order Summaries object. From there, we can name the report type. You can name your report type whatever makes sense for your organization. But for now, we'll name this one Order Summaries with Order Summary Changes to reflect the primary and secondary objects that we'll be selecting for our report. In the Description field, we can write Showing Order Summaries with Order Summary Changes. Then we can choose a category to store our report Let's put it under Contracts and Orders, and then we'll go ahead and mark it as Deployed so that we can use it when we're done creating it. Then I'll click Next. Now we can see our primary object here is Order Summaries, but since we'd like to look at items that have been returned, we also need to include the Order Product Summary Changes object. This secondary object contains information about change orders that are made whenever there's a cancellation or return. So let's find that secondary object, and then we'll hit Save. Our report type has been created. From here, we can see the fields that are available for this report type by clicking Edit Layout. Now we can indicate which fields are going to be available to us when we build a report from this template. We'll change the view box on the right side to Order Product Summary Changes fields, and then we can click this link underneath to Add Fields Related via Lookup. This will show the objects that have a lookup relationship to the Order Product Summary Changes object. We can use these links to pull in fields from these related objects into the report type. First, we'll select Order Product Summary 
and then select the name field. That will allow us to see the name of the returned product. We'll hit OK, and now that field is added to our report. We can repeat the process to add any additional fields that we want to have in our report. This time we'll want to change to the order product object. We'll pull in the total amount field, also total amount with tax, and we'll also want to select the type field here. That will allow us to see the type of change order that was created cancellations or returns. In the final version of the report, we'll be able to filter by returns. Now let's hit OK to add those additional fields to the report type. Now we'll click Save, and the report type is ready to use. To create a report using our newly created report type, we will navigate away from Setup and back to the Order Management Console. From the Navigation drop-down, let's select the option for Reports. Then we'll select New Report in the upper right. The first step for us is to select the report type on which to base this report. We saved our report type under Contracts and Orders, so let's go find it there. Then we can click Start Report. Let's start by naming our new report. We can call it Returns by Reason Code per Sales Channel. From there, let's navigate to the Filters tab to see if there are any default filters we need to adjust as we get started. Instead of My Order Summaries, we want the report to show all order summaries. As for the created date, let's look at orders from all time. Then we'll add an additional filter by searching for the Type field. And let's configure that so that the change type we'll focus on is Returns. Now we can see some records returned here, but there's not a lot of information about them. So let's go back to the outline section here to add some more fields that will give us more information. The first thing we'll do is remove the name field since we already have the order summary number, which is enough to click directly into the order if we need to. We'll add the sales channel name so we can tell what storefront the order was placed on. We'll also add change type just so we can see that these are indeed returns. And then we'll add order product summary name, which will give us the name of the returned product. We can also add the total amount with tax from the change order product object. This will give me the amount the item cost for the return. And finally, let's add the reason for the return. Now we have all the information that we would want to see in the report available to us. The last step is to add some groupings to organize the report in a better way. First, let's group the rows by sales channel, and then let's group the columns by the reason for the return. Now we have a report that has the product returns displayed by sales channel, and those returns are broken out by return code, so we can understand the reason for the return. The report also indicates the quantity of returns for those reason codes as well as the dollar amounts. The last step is to save the report so that others can use it. Let's click Save. The report name will automatically generate. We can either save this in our private reports or select a folder that's shared with other users if we want it to be more widely available. For now, we'll just save it to My Reports. Once I click Save, the report will be successfully generated, and we can click Run to finalize it. As orders continue to come in, this report will gather information about those returns. That's it. You've created your custom report for Salesforce Order Management. With just a few clicks, you can access valuable insights that can help your business thrive. As a reminder, here's a checklist of the steps to create a custom report. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.